Howdy tours, welcome back to the Zach Life. So I'm actually back in Colorado and I don't have a video for you so to speak, but I went somewhere that's really neat. I've heard about it my entire life and I wanted to uh, perhaps at the very least encourage someone that's interested in it to go see it. It's a place called Bishop's Castle uh, and it's not far from a place we usually go. It's sort of central Colorado, um, southwest-ish of Pueblo, not all that far, maybe an hour or something like that. Anyway, uh, took some videos with my phone, nothing spectacular. Let's uh, take a look at them. So the entrance to this I didn't get a good shot of is the rock structure you see kind of to the side, to the right side of the screen. You come through that and up sort of this little gulch and you come out right there where the groove is in the ground uh, between the trees right up against this yellow truck you're fixing to see. Uh, I've, I've seen pictures of this but I've never had a good perspective of how huge it is. It's absolutely massive. Uh, the bottom story is where the guy's standing. Most of the sort of, that's sort of a basement. Most of the bottom uh, is actually up a story. If you look, you can see the three windows. That's sort of the second floor. Uh, there's a railing that goes around the third floor. That's where the main big giant room is with a, with an A-frame glass roof and the, and the dragon head coming out. Uh, you climb up sort of two stories, even though you're, there's not a floor there. Uh, and that's where most of this video takes place if you look up sort of where the onion dome thing is. Uh, there's a railing that runs around there. That's why I take most of this video. Uh, and then there's the tower that goes way on straight up. It's like 160 feet to the top. I've been really high and I've got no fear of heights. I've been, you know, on all kinds of stuff. But this was so scabbed together. It was just like things were tacked together, just barely holding on. There was welds broke everywhere. The welding was terrible. There was expanded metal that's laid on top of expanded metal on top of expanded metal tacked together. There was a lot of it was really, really sketchy. So this is looking up the tower. This is where I was. I basically just turned around and turned the camera back on and looked up the tower. You can't really see how far it was up there. You got to remember, we're probably already are 40 something feet off the ground, I would guess. And uh, there's a spiral staircase that goes all the way to the very tip top of this thing, uh, way, way up there. <laughs> Here's a couple of pictures from the very, very top of the of the. You sort of crawl out the top of the uh, tower, and there's a thing you can stand on up there. One of the most amazing things to me about this was a lot of it was really hacked together. It was kind of sketchy. But you could tell the guy had a ton of talent. There was a lot of iron works just like this, this uh, latch he made. It was, I mean, it's not complicated, but it took a lot of time. Everything was done without the sense of urgency, you could tell. He spent however much time he thought he needed, like the ornament on this, on this uh, hinge. Uh, he spent however much time he needed. He didn't rush anything, you could tell. Had sockets welded on here as a, as, as a uh, spacer for little balls. It was, uh, it was really neat. The, uh, the amount of time he spent was, was mind-blowing. This is actually walking down the stairway, the spiral stairway that comes up into the entrance, I guess is what you would call it, or I, I don't know, the, the drawbridge and stuff. Um, pretty sketchy, it's pretty cool. Uh, the, the old man that built this is still alive, he was up there, he's not in very good shape. I wouldn't expect him to, you know, I hate to say it, but I wouldn't expect him to be alive very long. Uh, he didn't look like he was not in good health at all. Uh, but you ought to go check this out. It's really cool. If you're scared of heights, you might not want to crawl up on it. But uh, it's worth driving up there to look at it, even if you don't want to get on it. But uh, it is absolutely, for someone like me that builds stuff, it is absolutely, absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing else to say other than that. It's, it is completely incredible. Anyway. This is all I got for you. I'm going to finish this clip out as I walk down and talk about the drawbridge a little bit. But uh, 
you get bored and you're in the middle of Colorado, go check it out. It's really, really neat. That's a drawbridge. It is the drawbridge. So the cables, when the oh. when the gate comes down, it picks the drawbridge up. So he's got a drawbridge and a porticulus. Wow. <laughs> That's why all the rock and the weights for is to pick pick the the drawbridge That's up. Fantastic. I wonder what the uh, state made of a drawbridge and a porticulus when they come out to see him. <laughs> go up through the floor. It's amazing. Yeah, right there's a the hinges.